Hello and welcome to Open Square, coming to you from the city of Gombe, the capital of the jewel of the savannah, Gombe State. I'm Camry Apollo. This is the second in a series of regional town halls that improve citizens' understanding of the work of the National Assembly while asking legislators to get a first-hand understanding what their constituents want from them. Now, Open Square is a Daria media production supported by Channels TV, the MacArthur Foundation, and Radio Now 95.3 FM Lagos. We are also streaming live on Radio Now 95.3 FM, as well as Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Radio Now and our YouTube on our Radio Now studio. Now it's time to deepen our democracy by asking the right questions and hopefully getting the right answers. Are you looking for a place where your problems and opinions can be heard? A place where your voice matters? Open Square is that place where legislators and constituents meet to forge a path forward. In the first edition, we took you to the southwest to Ibado or your state. And now, we take you to the northeast to Gombe City, Gombe State. Open Square is a Daria Media production supported by Channels TV, the MacArthur Foundation, and Radio Now 95.3 FM, Lagos. Showing Saturday, March 5th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. live on Channels TV. It will also stream live on Radio Now 95.3 FM, Lagos. Right, so we're joined by members of the National Assembly from the northeastern part of the country. Uh, it's our pleasure to introduce, uh, first of all, um, Honorable... Kwamuti, Kwamuti Lauri, he's the uh, member who represents Demsa, Numan, and Lamrude federal constituency in Adamawa states. Honorable Lauri, thank you so much for coming. Also with us is uh, Honorable Yunusa Awakar, uh, the uh, member representing Yamal Tudeba federal constituency in Gombe state. We are also uh, joined via Zoom by Honorable Zakaria Nyampa from Madagali, uh, and uh, Michika Federal Constituency in Adamawa State. Now, um, uh, some other members uh, are still going to join us and uh, as we go along during the course of the program, uh, hopefully that will happen during the course of the program. Now, it is um, important for us to state at this point that uh, this town hall invitation was sent to um, members of the National Assembly, that's um, senators and representatives from the northeastern part of the country. Now, um, here in the studio with us, um, we have, we have um, Nigerians from states in the Northeast who are ready to engage, ready to engage their representatives. We're also going to be joined by participants via Zoom in Jalingo in Taraba states. And uh, here in the studio, we have with us present um, people from different parts of the uh, northeastern parts of the country uh, once again. Now, let me just quickly take you through the uh, structure of the program. Uh, we will hear from constituents what they understand about legislation. What do they know about the National Assembly? The legislators shall respond. Right? The legislators shall respond to what the constituents uh, uh, talk about. And uh, civil society also has a role to play. Civil society also has a role to play. They will also come in to try to uh, uh, bridge in the gap uh, on the matter of a legislation. Now, from there, we'll address the matter of interaction. How often do legislators meet with their constituents? How often do legislators meet with their constituents? That's a very important matter. Is it easy or difficult? Uh, what do the legislators have in place to facilitate that to make it happen? And uh, every job has its own challenges. Every job has its own challenges, and uh, we will also hear about their challenges from our legislators in the course of doing their jobs, what are their challenges. And right before a question and answer session between the constituents and their legislators, we will look at how the legislators' activities have addressed the needs of their constituents. Now, uh, before we get into it, we will take a goodwill message from the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabiamila. Good day, everyone. I'm happy to join you 
in this event. The role of parliament in a presidential democracy such as we have in Nigeria is often misunderstood by citizens, the media, stakeholders, and sometimes the legislators themselves. The role of the legislator as a lawmaker is well known, but less is known of the legislator's role as a policymaker, an advocate, a regulator of government, business, and a critical link between the citizen and the state. The limits of the legislator's authority and responsibilities are even less clearly understood. And as a consequence of this, the legislature and legislators are often held responsible for matters over which they have no control. At the same time, when legislative actions yield positive outcomes, the legitimate efforts of legislators to bring about those outcomes are either ignored or attributed to others. I am delighted, therefore, the Daria Media, in collaboration with the MacArthur Foundation, has taken up the task of bridging the gap of understanding by organizing this program to provide an avenue for constructive interactions between legislators and their constituents. This is an opportunity for education and enlightenment of each and every one of us. It gives legislators a chance to tell their own stories and to hear from their constituents so that from these interactions, we might achieve a level of understanding about the true nature of our democracy and clarity about the responsibilities citizens and legislators owe to each other. Citizens' active participation in politics and governance is the surest safeguard of democracy in the long term. However, active participation must be based on a thorough awareness of the process and practice of politics and, and government. Otherwise, we risk a situation where conversations about the governance of our country are dominated by the loudest voices rather than the most informed. In such a situation, propaganda thrives and our differences of opinion are easily exploited to exacerbate our existing fault lines. This is a danger that we must resist by all means, particularly through programs such as this that seek to increase understanding of how government works and how it ought to work. I thank the organizers for their efforts and I congratulate them on their vision. I hope that by the time this program is successfully conducted here in the Southwest region, it will continue through the other regions. I also hope that this will be an ongoing effort involving politicians at all levels of governance across our country. I thank all those who will be participating in this event for contributing in this way to the joint task of nation building. And I wish you all a successful event. Thank you. So, let us begin by what I call understanding the legislature from the citizen's perspective. Now, we will start off by hearing from constituents as uh, we ask the question, basically, what is the work of a legislator? What do they think a legislator does? Now, we will be connecting uh, remotely now to our constituents in uh, Jalingu via Zoom to hear from them what they think the work of a legislator is. Uh, good morning. I'm Emmanuel James from Taraba State, Jalingu, the state capital. A legislator is someone who makes laws and also someone who represents his constituents in order to make to see that things go well with his constituents. Okay, so um, that's uh, Emmanuel and his thoughts in Jalingo. Now, he says clearly a legislator's work is to make laws and to represent their constituents. Uh, let's bring it back now to the uh, constituents right here in our studios. Uh, before the program began, we, uh, the director indicated there are two microphones on either side of the hall. So uh, please, when you're making your contributions, state your name and where you are from, your constituency, and uh, tell us what you think. Again, what you think the work of a legislator is. What is the work of a member of the National Assembly? So from our studio constituents, could we have the first constituent to stand up, tell us your name, and tell us what you think the work of a legislator is. Can we have the first person, please? Okay. Uh, you, sir, please approach the microphone. Good morning. My name is Ali Kolo from Yobe State, from Damaturu, Gujuba, Gulani, Termoa constituencies. 
from my own perspective, I think the work of legislature is to represent this constituency and also to defend our interest in the National Assembly to make law that will favor us, if any. Okay, uh, yeah. that's very concise. Yeah. Uh, next gentleman, please. Again, please state your name, your constituency very clearly. I'm Yusuf from Gombe State. I think in addition to what the last speaker just said, one of the role of the members of the National Assembly is to make sure that the presence of the parallel government is visible in the constituency he is representing. Thank you. Okay, representation. So uh, I think this is a term that uh, three people have had so far. Let's go to the other side of the hall now. The uh, gentleman, yes, please come up, sir. So again, please state your name very clearly and your constituency. My name is Bachama Yusuf. I am from Belir Baranga Federal Constituency, Gombe South Senatorial Zone. I am a development practitioner. The constitutional role of a legislator, le legislator is actually to ensure that laws are formulated in the interest of the people he represents, and then secondly, ensure the oversight so that such laws are actually directed at programs that will address the needs of the same constituents. And then thirdly, is to actually be the bridge between his constituents, the citizens who he represents, with appropriate authorities at the national level. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, that's an uh, interesting one that he's expantiated on that. I think it's uh, safe to say so far uh, what our constituents have told us is that uh, the role of a legislator is first of all lawmaking. Uh, we've heard about representation. Then we've heard a specific description of representation in the National Assembly, uh, representing the interests of the constituency in the National Assembly, and uh, also uh, oversight now, as we have just heard. Now, um, interesting submission there, the uh, uh, third contributor, because he says the constitutional role. But uh, what do you expect from your legislator? This is where we sometimes you know, get ourselves into uh, a bit of a confusion. What do we expect from our legislators? What do we meet our legislators for? What brings you, what takes you to see your legislator? Why would you seek out? Why would you say, I'm looking to meet my legislator? What reasons would lead you to uh, uh, do that? Does anybody in the studio audience want to take that? Okay. Alikolo? Yes. I think my representation, to defend my interests, to defend my interests in my constituencies, Okay, let me ask you a question just to further open it up. What are your Ali Kolo? What is Ali Kolo's immediate interest in this particular case? My immediate interest is particularly youth and employment. Youth and employment. Yes. These are two issues that would make you want to meet with your legislator. Yes. What would you want your legislator to do in that regard? Skill acquisition. Skill acquisition. The rep you, legislator should youth? teach them. Yes. To teach teaming youth skill acquisition so that they will come up engaging themselves, doing something that okay. will depend on it. Okay, so you want the legislator to train the youth, yes. give them skill acquisition? Yes. Okay, Ali Kolo. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's, have, let's try somebody else. Uh, you right there at the back, sir. Uh, good morning, all. My name is Salah Sanyaya. I'm a developmental journalist here in Gombe State. Well, I expect to see a legislator that is going to represent his constituents, someone that will come home to see exactly what is happening in his constituents. And at the end of the day, he will gather their information, he will get the required necessary things that they are expected to get from that constituent, and went back to where he is representing them, that is at the National Assembly, either Senate or House of Representatives, to see how he can lobby, discuss with his other colleagues to champion issues that is around his constituent. I think that is one of the role, and I expect all our legislators, either members of House of Representatives or Senate, to be coming home time to time to sit down with their constituents, discuss, look at the issues, what are the early warning issues, what is happening in their constituents, based on such issues identified, and they will take them and go back and have a favorable laws that are going to work in line with the issues around their constituents. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, sorry, Al-Hassan Yahya, you said your profession, you are a journalist. 
You're a very important bridge between the people and governance. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, let's um, have one more, a lady this time around. I'm Fatima Sani Akubu from Gombe State. I'm standing for the voice of people with disability in Gombe. In, I'm the national, a national female leader for people with disability. In, our, in my own regard, I think does registration. Let, let, let's talk about your expectation. My, our expect, expectation is to include in, in, in inclusion of everybody in the constitution, constituency and to sit down with the people with disability okay. and hear their needs okay. so that they will engage them in help each and every of their activity. Okay, I think this is pretty much, thank you so much, uh, Fatima. I think this is pretty much what we've heard. Now, um, let's come to our two legislators uh, who are here with us. And um, let's start with uh, Honorable Kwamati Lauri. Uh, you've heard some of the expectations and the, what people think legislation is. Um, do you think, basically, you've heard what they think about uh, your roles. Is that how you also see your role? Do you see yourself in what they have said? Are they accurate in how they have described your role as a legislator? Thank you. Basically, uh, most of them are on point as to our role as legislators. Of course, basically, uh, has stated uh, is to make laws for the good governance, uh, to represent people, and of course, to carry out our oversight function. Uh, these are the pr three primary rules uh, of a legislator. Uh, their expectation, as I've had it here also, uh, is in line. Um, we have to understand that uh, the process of legislation is different. Our position as your representatives are different from that of executive. Lawmaking, yes. And we have been fulfilling that responsibility of lawmaking. Uh, as for me, there are certain bills that I've been sponsoring, which has direct bearing with the needs of my constituents. Okay, um, Honorable Lowry, we'll come to your specific bill areas towards the latter part of the program. Let's, uh, for now, just stay towards the expectations, what people have said they think you do and what you actually do. Yes, I, I'm to... just trying to marry that to show them uh, we are working to meet their expectations as to our work as legislators. Because uh, sometimes there may be a wrong perception as to what a legislator does. Um, if you raise 10 people here, they are going to give you 10 different uh, perspectives of their expectations from a legislator of what he, uh, they require from him. And uh, like uh, uh, Kolo from Yobe said, uh, his expectation is to youth uh, training. training and, and empowerment. Uh, empowerment. Yes. And uh, of course, uh, is that really the work of a legislator to train youth and empower them? Basically, that is not his work. Basically, that is not his work. But how can he come in to help in terms of youth and empowerment? Where we come in here is to make sure that if there are areas that we can make laws so that the government, the executive, can now create this fora, because it's the government, it's the executive that formulate policies. And unfortunate for us in this country sometimes, this policy some of these policies don't come in as laws. They are just policies of government. And you find out that you'll be limited in your role as a legislator in certain areas. But we have to look at what is on ground and also praising whether from us as legislator, we now come in with some laws and say, okay, 
we have to create this department or we have to create this program and make it into law and give it to the executive. Once they buy it and they sign it and it becomes a law, then it will be executed. Then it will now follow uh, the pattern of attending to the youth and then creating the employment they deserve. I, I wish in this country we should have, like in some climes, certain development programs that will come in to the legislature and say, okay, uh, like in um, Indonesia, they do. They come in with uh, their programs and say, okay, this is the program we, are, we, we want to do for the next three or five years and um, present it to the legislator. The legislator will look at it and then they now formulate it and make it a law. And then no matter who is there, he has to follow it to the letter. Once a bill is passed and it becomes a law, then you cannot deviate it from must it. Be adhered you to. have to follow okay. it. Okay. Right. Let's come to Honorable uh, Yunus Abubakar. Um, do you agree with um, the perspectives of Honorable Lowry? And what do you make of the constituents, especially the ones on Zoom and uh, here as well? What do you make of what they think your job is? Listeners, viewers, wherever we are, I say it. Am I right to say good morning? The views, uh, as it has been expressed by my colleague, Honorable Lowry, which we have been in the Green Chamber for quite some time, we've known ourselves, actually have said it, but he have not said it all. He is in line maybe because of time constraint. Secondly, I listened to the people here. They have done quite well. They have tried to grasp, especially, I wouldn't give credit because by training, he is <laughs> the barrister there. He seems to, to get the constitutional provision. But he also forgot to say, for good governance. It's not just for the interest of the locality. What if their interests clashes with good governance. So the key word there, formulate laws for good governance of the citizenry. Having said that, the journalists too have tried to say it. And the other people that have said it. But you have not said it all. In fact, the role of the legislature, if I'm going to encapsulate it, is just that representation. That representation is one capsule. But when you interpolate it, when you expound it, I'm telling you, five good six hours till sunset, we might not be able to expound the specifics. But in a nutshell, when you say representation, yes, that's what the Hausa of the Arabic will say, wakil. The French one will say, depute. Full day will say, it is a full, full day will say, this holder or something like that. I mean, to represent, Hausa will say, uh, wakili or whatever. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that you represent, in terms of every aspect, the laws are there. You look at the existing laws of your country at the national level, try to identify and segregate between what was tenable in the concurrent legislative list and what is in the exclusive legislative list. If it is concurrent because we are operating a three tier of government, I mean the level, we have the federal, okay, honorable, state, honorable and Yunusam. then local. Uh, well well, all right, so we'll take a quick break at this point. And uh, when we come back, we'll talk about reconciling people's expectations with what we are starting to hear from our legislators. Uh, there is more to come when Open Square returns. Stay with us.